Sorry. Dr. Frames. Thank you for the full year, dude. Oh! Whew. And Memenstein. Thank you for the 300 bits. Wait, Vinyl says he's real. I just remade the footage because the original footage was corrupted by the homunculus's magic. Yeah, guys. The homunculus sighting, it was a real... A real sighting. But yeah, you know, the homunculus kind of glitches the visual aspect of things. This is... Is this loud for you guys? This is blowing my ears out. Turn it down. Ow, ow. By the way, wait, wait, real quick. I need to clarify something right now. Can you guys hear this crackle? No. Okay. I always... This is stupid, guys. I literally always when I'm streaming, feel self-conscious about adjusting my volume levels because on my end, it's like... Because I've got a terrible, terrible audio setup. And I always rather just like deal with the uh, loud blowing my ears out. So that's like reassuring that you guys can't hear that. You really can't hear that? It's like so loud on my end. I don't know. I don't know anything about audio. Anyway. Uh, welcome to Kerbal Space Program. Guys, as soon as this thing pops up and stops saying one second, you are going to love what you see. Yep. Any second, it's going to start popping up. Um... There we go, guys. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna try to do... Vinyl recommended doing the uh, science mode. I've done this, I've done the uh, t training in the past. I think it's gonna come back to me slowly but surely. Yeah, this is our little dude. I'm so excited. Um, Science. In science mode, you must gather scientific data to research new technologies Funds and reputation are disabled and contracts are not available. Creative? No, I did creative last time. Listen, the thing about creative mode is that it gives you all the stuff right up at the start and there's like nothing to work towards. And it's like, it's like, okay, cool. I made a giant rocket and now, uh... all right, we'll do science. Save name is going to be. The space destroyers because I'm going to go up into this into the freaking sky and kill everything every celestial body okay let's see let's pick what we got I, by the way last time I got a cat girl uh, flag uploaded and I'm I had the cat girl space program I have no idea how I did that Maybe I can, like, remember really quick. What kind of space program would you guys want to have this time? If I'm able to figure out these flags. The homunculus space program. <laughs> yeah, we could do homunculus space program. Was that? Ender Hero, thank you for the two months, dude. And the Sea Bass for the first time sub and Sweet Sugar Lips for the 11 months. Guys, no, we have to move on to bigger and better things. We can't always just freaking do cat girls. Oh, I've got a screenshot saved. Okay, it's just like pointless, stupid game data. Flags? Okay, flags. I found the flags. Okay, so are we sure we're going to vote for the homunculus space program or should we do something different? One sec, guys. I'll be, I'll be one second.
<laughs> okay, guys. Guys, something... Uh, uh, it's been brought to my attention. Uh, something happened the other day, and I didn't want to mention it. Just because, you know, I don't, I don't like to draw attention to the misbehaviors. But, uh... I do think it's worth talking about, okay? So... The other day... This dude came into chat, and uh, well, I'll let their I'll let them speak for themselves. Here's what they had to say. Charborg, what if a pizza monster appeared? Charborg, what if there was a pizza monster? Charborg, what if a pizza monster appeared? What if there was period a pizza monster? Charborg, what if there was a pizza monster? What if a pizza monster appeared? What would you do? What would you do? What would you do? Charborg, you know, it's pretty much more the. What if a, an Italian streamer became a pizza monster? I don't know who they're referring to. Um, Charborg! What if there was a pizza monster? Um, anyway. The, we, you know, we timed them out. They kept coming back and kept saying it. So they eventually banned them. Unfortunately. Guys, they made another account and came back today. What would you do if there was a pizza monster? Charborg, what would you do if there was a pizza monster? But it was Vinny. What would I do? I would fucking scream if there was a pizza monster. Are you kidding me? What are you... It... Anyway, so to that guy... Um... To that guy known only as really stupid dog and um real daffy duck there's your answer if there was a pizza monster i would scream i'm sorry it took me a couple days to get back to you <laughs> but thank you for understanding anyway <laughs> Let's, uh, let's make our flag. Are we doing the homunculus? <laughs> I still haven't decided. Free him? Guys, come on. Should we free him? I just, you know, I feel like that's kind of encouraging him to, uh, to keep, keep that kind of behavior up. Probation. Yeah, maybe we'll put him on like a like a two-day probation. We watch him and we <laughs> Alright, let me see if I've got any pictures of the homunculus. You know, I can probably just pull one straight from the uh from that pet cam. The Pizza Monster Space Program. <laughs> PMSP. You know what? Okay. Sure, we'll do a Pizza Monster. I just don't know what that's gonna, like... Okay, this is scary, guys. I looked up Pizza Monster and it is, it is frightening. I don't think I... Show. Well, okay, I'll show you a picture, but try not to get freaked out. I promise you right now, it's pretty freaky. They did the Evil Dead Necronomicon. Necron Necrocomanon? Necronomicon? But in the shape of a pizza? Let's get this on screen. So yeah, that's terrifying. Um, you know what? We might just use that. <laughs> All right, let's uh, throw this in here. First off, I've got a what? What color should our flag be? I mean, I guess pizza monster would have to be like red, maybe. Red background. 
Yellow? Okay. Dude, I swear, the default paint tools, like... Listen, I'm a big fan of Microsoft Paint because it's so easy to use, but why are there not better tools available? You know what? I shouldn't, I shouldn't complain. Guys, I'm sorry for being a complainer. I'm not trying to be negative here. You know what? Just forget I even said anything. Alright, this... Let's grab... Let's get the pizza monster in there. Um... Well, how am I going to do this? Copy. Paste. Oh, that's good. Alright. File. Save. And let's see if that updated. I really hope it did, because I don't want to have to do this again. Okay, it took the place of the one called Trippy. If we see it. You guys see it? Oh, no, it didn't change. Look. What the hell? Reload? Yeah. Good call. I will see him. Thank you for the four months. Much appreciated. And thank you, uh, Blamby, for the first time, Prime. Alright. We have a bet on if you'll explode on the platform or not, just FYI. Wait, what's the time limit here? Is it like my first launch? <laughs> Thank you, Garbage Boy Dreek, for the 17 months, dude. I lost a balloon when I was 8. Can you check if it's still up there? That, that is my top priority. We will find your balloon. What is going on? Thank you for the gifted sub. Alright, start new. Uh, the, what was it? The P -P pizza? The pizza monster space program? See if our flag is there. Please, for the love of God, let it be there. Oh, there it is! Oh, that's scary! Oh my God. Alright. Guys, let's get in there and get to space. I'm so excited. Alright, I'm Gene blah blah blah. Thanks, I've got it, you stupid dumb guy. Guys, I told Gene off a second ago there, but I really have no idea what I'm doing. Alright, so the first thing, I think we have to make progress by... <laughs> I think we have to make progress by doing science experiments. So, I'm going to... Damn, blah blah blah. Okay, I know. All right, this this first step's gonna be easy, okay? Building a basic ship, that's nothing that a, a toddler could do it. You know? So look, here's our, our little booster. And we're gonna do one of these things. This is where the little scientists go inside this pod. Is backseating allowed? Only if I ask. I don't mind you guys telling me how to do something that I'm asking about, but I don't want people just Oh, oh my god! Oh, that's freaky. Alright. Next, let's add some wings on this hush pup. Um, let's do the... I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this is looking good. And now we have to do like a sci- Oh, here, look. Science. See, now my problem is... I don't know how to do a science experiment. I, I was trying to learn how to play the other night, trying to refresh my memory. 
And I just, like, could not figure out what the science was going on. Like, look at this. Some blah, 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 blah. It's filled with a strange-looking substance. Watching the goo... Watching how the goo behaves when subjected to different situations could be educational. Okay. So let's grab one of these goo canisters. And you know what? Uh, I'm just going to throw it right there. So I think the hope is that we watch this... Oops, I just broke it. There. It's unbalanced. Mm, guys, I think I'm the scientist here. I think I know what I'm doing. Oh my god, I thought that truck was... I thought that truck was flying. I thought it was about to ram into my spaceship. It was a forced perspective thing. Sorry for the sorry for the scare there, guys. All right, this ship is going to be called um, not Untitled. This one's going to be called the uh, Killinator. Enter ship's description. Well, well, you get the picture. The name I think the name says it all. All right, save. Chart. What are you saying, chart? I don't know what you're talking about. Shut up, chart. Did I call you chart? <laughs> I did not call you chart. Thank you, chump chewer for the first time prime. <laughs> Vunderbar for the hundred bits. And the nice message. Thank you, dude. And toasty for the two months. I'm your biggest fan. Mom? Mom, I told you not to message in my Twitch chat. I'm so embarrassed. Alright. Here we go. Let's launch this hush pup. Um, you have no- Oh, there's not a dude in this front seat. One minute, one minute. I gotta put a dude in here. Guys, we're gonna send out Be Be Jebediah Kerman. This guy knows his stuff. He's a pilot with a 20-star rating. This guy's pretty well-equipped for the job. The legend. Jeb is going to space. Okay. One sec. Uh, let me remember how to do this, guys. So, okay, you're saluting him, but... I feel like that is often done when you are... thinking that the guy's gonna die. I think this guy's totally fine. His name does ha say die in it, though. Okay, um, let's see. Yep, yep, checking uh, the modules, checking everything. There's also, uh, I can do this. Oh yeah, lots of, pr plenty of buttons and switches in this one. Looking, uh, there's a board, board games seem to be stocked, the snacks and the science, everything's good. Um, all right, I think we're ready to go, guys. Launch off in 10. Milliseconds, boom! Okay, hold, hold. This is good. We're angled directly towards the moon, I think. Nope. Guys, update. The moon is over there. I'm headed the wrong way. It's fine. It's fine. This is just a test flight. Okay. Seem to be losing momentum. I think we might have broken the atmosphere. <laughs> just playing, guys. We are nowhere near the atmosphere. How's the goo? Uh, goo canister seems to be intact. I think we're getting a lot of useful information out of this. Right click the goo? Ooh, observe it! Mystery goo observation while flying at Kerbin. The goo jiggles and wobbles as the craft flies. This is perfect, guys. I couldn't figure out how to do this the other day when I was, like, messing around. Let's keep experimenting. 
Review the data we have. The goo jiggles and wobbles. Yeah, we know. Oh, wait! Uh, freaking space button. Parachute. Go! What is it doing? Expand! I got, I got the stupid parachute that doesn't work! Go! Expand! No, I think, I think we're actually falling at a reasonable speed. Yeah, there we go. And we're gonna... Oh, my God. Let's keep observing this goo, shall we? And gently land. Perfect. Let's go ahead and send this data off, I think. No usable comms device on the vessel. Oh no. I'm like, oh my god. Hey, let's get out. Where the hell are we? Oh no. Guys, the hatches are obstructed. <laughs> we cannot get out and explore this new foreign land. I landed with a door on the underside. Oh, brother. <laughs> oh, well. Wait, I reset the... Oh, I'm... Oh, my God. I reset the goo canister. I think our experiment has been rendered useless, guys. Okay, no usable in-range comms device on this vessel. All right, we gotta add a comms device to this thing. Let me back out of this. Uh. All right, let's recover this. Where's my ship? There it is, all the way over there. Recover. Next. Done. All right, guys, I think we might have done our first experiment. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> There's something called the Killinator that was pretty tame. Oh, how little you know. We just planted a freaking, like, nanobites on that little island over there. Oh, yeah, and look at that. I got eight science. Whoa. Not bad. Wow. We're probably going to be able to research, like, telescopes with this thing. Uh, let's see here. Let me get to the research station. Okay, I need something that's going to... What was it called? A comm center? That has comm in it. Yeah, I think this might be the thing right here. A decoupler? <laughs> decoupler, thermometer. The Commutron is a versatile and lightweight antenna suitable for... Oh, yes, okay. We're buying this, and I'm adding one of these bad boys to the space... The Killinator. We are going to be able to do long-range communications... Right here, Comutron. I need to put this in a cool looking spot. Maybe like a harpoon, like a... Look at this. Now if this bad boy lands on anybody, we will get, we will stab a hole in him. Oh, that looks sick. Can you put eight goo canisters on board? That is an interesting idea. If I did that, then let's try to duplicate our canister amount. Maybe we can do double the research at the same time. That's, this isn't working. Aha! Double the goo. Double the science. All right, and we've got our antenna for the long-range communication. This is huge. More goo makes it more better.
Okay, guys, this I'm not gonna lie to you, this ship looks pretty stupid. But every great scientist must start somewhere. You think they were sending guys to the moon on a cool looking ship? No, it probably looked dumb as hell. It probably looks so stupid. Wait, let me do a quick Google search really quick. Okay, guys, it looked cool as hell. This sucks. The moon rocket looked so cool. Alright, mine looks just stupid. I don't think anybody... I don't even think a baby would go to space in this thing. <laughs> oh, well. Why is everyone saying Joe? Joe Mama? Why don't I give you the time of day? Wait, could I just climb out here? Whoa! He's dead. <laughs> Jebediah! No, he's probably okay. Yeah, see, there he's good. He's fine, guys. All right, let me get back up in his rocket. Wait, why did I get out? How? Oh, how am I gonna? Why did I do this? The gravity of this planet is far too strong to hop back up. I didn't put a ladder? <laughs> Dang it. Can you imagine if I got all the way to the moon and then I tried to come back and I didn't have a ladder? <laughs> like, oh wait, wait, wait! Look at this. Pay close attention. I saw something. It was a hotkey. <gasps> oh! Watch carefully. There's that little thing that comes up that says F ladder. Or F climb, I mean. I'm not making this up, I swear I saw it. Come on, Jeb, climb it! Carlscape, thank you for the 18 months, dude. Guys, I swear I just saw that. Maybe it was on the wing? <laughs> no, I swear that he I swear Jeb can climb it. I saw a button for it. It wouldn't do that to me if there was no way he could climb it. <laughs> Maybe I gotta get a running start. <laughs> climb! I saw it! Oh. Boom. Get in there. Oh my god, Jeb, climb, please. You stupid little guy. <laughs> I'm so close. Isn't there a jetpack? I don't think I packed a jetpack. Oh, I screwed up the camera. Ugh. Guys, we might just have to reload it. I wanted to climb back into this thing the good old-fashioned way, but... Wait, I do have my jetpack out. This is sad with no music. <laughs> oh! I have knocked my ship over, but the good news is I think I will be able to climb back into it. This experiment might not be over just quite yet. Okay. <sighs> Ok. 
Careful. Careful, Jeb. A big drop, little man. You don't want to hurt yourself. Perfect. Okay. New problem. Uh... Hey, there we go. Whoa, 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 up, 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 up! Go, look out! <laughs> I kill him. <laughs> I didn't even get to check the goo. Alright. A lot of stuff learned here today. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Alright, we're going back to basics. Wait, so did I lose that guy? Yep. Well, you know. Some things are unavoidable, guys. Let's see. Is Jeb... Yep, Jeb is in fact gone. We need a funeral? Guys, there's no time to mourn the loss. He, you know, a lot of people love that little guy. And they will mourn on their own time. We've got, we've got the freaking galaxy to explore. Yeah, feel free to salute him, but that's as far as I'm going. Okay. We need to get a new guy inside here. Valentina Kerman, you are going to be our new pilot of the Killinator. Okay, we've got to make sure we do our experiments as well. Super easy to not do those experiments. Oh. Yep, let's go. Okay, open this. Observe the goo. We're gonna simultaneously observe this other goo as well. Double the goo, double the... Okay, looks like we can only do one. Okay, the, the goo jiggles and wobbles, that's good. You know what? This is valuable data. Oh, this one jiggles and wobbles too, perfect. And guys, we did get even closer to the galaxy just now. We went a lot farther than we did before. I think we might still be going up. Yeah, look at this, our speed. We're still going up a little bit. Going down though. And now we're going back down. Very successful experiment. And you know what, as soon as we get back, I'll be able to send this data in to, oh, we're getting up some speed. One minute. I shouldn't have been, I was like not paying attention. Perfect. And look how happy Valentina is. Guys, we're not, why are you smiling? Look, the parachute opens when it gets closer to the ground. It's a, something to do with gravity or friction. Look, we're going to land right back near where we started. You know, and the only reason that we've moved a little bit, guys, Earth is a rotation. The Earth rotates a little bit every, every second. All right, flip this bad boy back over. And let's see how we're doing first person point of view. Yep, the little thing's spinning. That's good. And... He's so dead? Guys, you were just so... such doubters. And gentle touchdown incoming. Boom. Couldn't have done it better myself. Oh wait, I did do it myself. Alright, let's send this data in. 
Transmit the data. Oh, watch that antenna. <laughs> Mission Control, do you read me? I am about I am about half a mile away from you over in this field. Did you get that information about the goo? Yeah, I think they're I think they're I think they're receiving that. Alright, cool. I'll transmit this one too. Oh no no, I already did that one. Alright. Alright guys, I think we did it. So wait, so do I somebody yelled at me earlier when I tried this. Do I have to back out to end this experiment, or where do I push to, like, end it? Top middle. Board action. Well, that sounds negative. Oh, recover vessel. Okay, cool. Guys, I think I might have screwed up the goo situation. Inoperable after transmitting. Hmm. Yeah, I think I screwed something up. Containment. Experiment. Stop saying so quick. Experiment medium moved. Module inoperable. Not enough electric charge. Wait, I gotta charge this thing? Extending antenna. Transmit data. Yeah, I need power. Huh. Okay. Yeah, we're going to recover this. All right. Oh my god, 12 science unlocked. Save. We are on a mission to kill every living being in the universe. <laughs> Alright guys, we are well on our way. <laughs> Noogie Boogie, thank you for the first time sub. <laughs> and Lengthy Lemon for the 100 bits. And thank you, Drunk Woods, for the five months. Wait, they said closing in on half a year already. I love everything you make. Definitely the best parasocial relationship I have. Okay, guys, don't please nobody form a parasocial relationship with me. Just want to get that out there in writing. <laughs> shut up, shut up. Thank you, <laughs> Drunk Woods and Anonymous for the gifted sub. Appreciate it. We've been on dates. Oh, come on. We're just pretending. All right. Where? I need to buy some more science. Perfect. Let's see. What is this? Heat shield. Barom barometer? Oh, shut up. This is nerd stuff. I need something that'll do electrical things. Like a battery. Orange, thank you for the 100 bits. All right, yeah, I'm gonna, let's see what we got here. I think I do wanna experiment with more rocket parts. The more rocket parts we get, the cooler stuff we can do. Like this, oh, fuel booster, solid fuel tank. Oh yeah, guys, this is good stuff. Yep, this is all pretty good stuff. I know a lot about rocketry. Let's research that. And we are gonna, we're gonna update the Killinator right now.
You know what? I might just make a new one. Here, start over. We've got we've got more items. There's no reason to be using the Killinator. That was a Killinator Mark One. We could make a version two. Yeah. Oh my God! There's a dog outside my house. I don't know why it scared me so bad, but it did. Anonymous, thanks for the gifted sub, dude. To parasocial streamer. Oh my god. Alright, let's see which one of these we're gonna... This one's 1,200, and I think I want that just because it's more expensive. I, it, it's gotta be better if it's more expensive. We're gonna place one of these. Okay, little update. It's grayed out. Oh, here's this. Alright, that's looking good. <laughs> Alright. Fuel tank. This is for maximum fuel ability. Boom. And you know what? Double fuel tank. Can I do that? Double the fuel tank. Maximum fuel. We are going to... Uh, we might even end up on Jupiter if we're not careful. Alright. Command pod. Throw one of these bad boys on there. Uh. Oh, you know what? I'm going to throw a decoupling inside there as well. Once we get up to the, like, the moon, we're probably going to want to break off. Get that. And then we're going to need a little pod. And you know what? I'll put the thermometer on there for a new experiment. We're going to test, guys, we're going to test the temperature of the sun, I think. Throw that on right there. Throw a parachute on there, just so we don't die to death. And... Yeah, this is looking good. Let's add some wings. God, wings? Oh my god, Chad, that would be so good right now. Can you imagine having some wings right now? Oh. All right, this one's going to be called the Killinator V2.0 because I might add some, like, I don't know, cool paint or something in a little bit, and uh, that might make it 2.1 or 2.3. Yeah, it's everything you loved, you knew and loved about the Killinator, but this time even cooler because there's two fuel packs on it and a very expensive rocket that I've bought and spent all my money on. Save. Let's load this thing up with Valentina. And let's get out there. Where's the goo? We've already done our experiments with goo. There's nothing more we can learn from that crap. Whoa. The size of this thing. I think the only thing that would have made it a little bit coolier is if we added even more fuel tanks, but that's, uh, you know what, we can, we can test that out in a future version. Um, let's see. Yep, I'm looking over here, guys, at our staging, and everything looks great. I don't know anything about how staging works. I have no clue what any of that means. All right, let's get out there and go! Something weird happened. Oh, I broke... I, like, broke the nose off. I decoupled it before it was ready. Okay, I think I got my order wrong. Yeah, this sucks. We're gonna revert it. And we're gonna try again. I got my order wrong. Let's see. D, um, zero, one, thing. I don't know what this means. Like, there's a way to, like, do this, but, you know, who, who can even say how to... She lived? Oh, wait, are we doing bets? I'm sorry, guys. I'm not paying attention. It's hard to tell what... <laughs> it's hard to tell what, like, what is what. You know what I'm saying? Oh. 
the lower goes first like this. Whoops. Okay, guys. I think it's about time we get the hell up there. T minus three. Two. One. Whoa, I knew this rocket was a good idea. Look how cool that is. Jesus Louises. All right, I'm getting ready to decouple. Are you ready? Decoupling. Whoa, mama. That like speed boosted me, I think. Oh wait, we have to do our sp space experiments. Where's that th thermometer? Where's the thermometer? Guys, I decoupled the thermometer. The thermometer, no. What the, oh, the oh I broke the ship. I broke the Killinator V2. And the thermometer was on it. I didn't even get to do the science. Dang it. It's okay. We're not going to die or anything. We've got... Whoa, dude. This will be fun. Can you imagine being in this cockpit? Yeah, this will be a good time, I think. Dude, the best possible use of that emote I've ever seen you guys use. Alright, let's not kill her, though. Slow down. Alright, looking good. And there's our flag flying high. How many G-forces would it take to kill you? Oh, hey guys, did you hear that? That was the remnants of our beautiful ship we spent so much money on breaking. Those videos where you, uh, like, where they put those people in the spinning tube and then they, like... That looks awful. Guys, I get dizzy. I was joking earlier about that spinning looking fun. I get dizzy so, so easily. I hate it. Dude, if I turn around to look behind me too quick, I might puke. Alright, let's have a gentle landing. Cut the chute to go faster. Guys, that would kill me. Little, uh, little stupid idea. Wait, can you even do that? Cut parachute. <laughs> Wait, what is this? Oh, I don't know what I did. I shouldn't mess with that. Alright, another successful mission. I didn't get any science data though, so that freaking sucks. Um. I got point one science from that. They're like, yeah, nice moron, you broke everything. Alright, we gotta move this thermometer up somewhere better. Like this. Cause what, what happens if we get up there and... Wait, I could probably put another boost here. What if I did this? Watch, oh my god, this is gonna be cool. I think this might be the way we get to space. I've played this game before, guys, but it genuinely feels like I haven't. Once, look at that. Yeah, see, once I, little, uh, little bit of info about me. Once I forget, or once I stop playing a game, I forget every single thing I knew about it. You know what? Yeah, let's get some goo up into the space, into the stratosphere. I think that would be helpful. Something tells me that's the way to go. No, that looks so encumbrant. I'm not gonna bring any goo, guys. Alright, 
Let's get our staging all set up. This rocket will go first. Then we have... Then we have decoupling. And then we are going to initiate the second phase of the rockets and then parachute. Alright. Yeah, this is looking good, guys. Alright, everyone. Let's get to the damn moon. Yeah, no backseating, guys. If people are backseating, cut it. Alright. This experiment, what we're attempting to do in this experiment is get up into the air, test and see how hot space is, and then get back down in one piece. Let's do this. Um... Valentina, are you ready? Yep, I think that means she's ready, guys. Let's go. Okay, system's nominal. We're cruising at a very flat altitude or something. Oh, we're starting to curve, guys. I think that might be due to gravitational pull or something. All right, decoupling in three... Now... And, uh, we, now we're, what, what did I do, what did I do? Guys, I did something stupid. Thermometer! Log temperature. Hmm. I think we might have got a couple science points. No, the parachute's gonna stop us, guys. Fear not. Alright, look, you can see how hot it is. Okay. Yep. It's cool. Let's log that temperature again. Alright. Nightcrawlers, thank you so much for a thousand bits, dude. Filthy virtue for the 13 months. All right, let's come down to a gentle halt here. Oh, there, damn it. That is... It's okay, we didn't need that. Hey, that's what the taxpayers are paying us for. To blow shit up. I really feel like I can start this parachute a little bit later. I have to fall so far. Watch, I'm going to do this. What's my altitude? I'm at 290 meters. I'm going to change it to be like... 400 meters. I don't got time to wait around. Yeah, speed up time. It still just takes forever. Look at this crud. No, guys, I'm not going to cut it. Ding. Yeah, let me try to EVA report these uh, thermometer findings. <sighs> yeah. Let's walk around here to the thermometer. Valentina temperature scan while flying over Kerbal Shores added. Valentina, all items stored. All right, Valentina. Oh, that's cool. Wait, guys, look, we... Idea. So they'll know we've been here. Site name. Up. Pizza Planet. Like from Toy Story. Wow, and in what, what a beautiful view we have of our space station. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> this is really good. I can deploy a parachute. Or whatever. All 
All right, let's see how much science we've got from that. 13. Oh my god, guys. The science never ends. 13 science. I can research a bunch of crud with this now. Check this out. Uh, experiment was a success. Um, okay, a little update. Don't have enough science for much of anything yet. Need more science. We need more experiments. So something went awry with this spaceship. Yeah, I see. I didn't put a little decoupler right here. I think this time's going to work a little bit better. I just tabbed out of the game. I could add goo, but you know what? I really feel like that's, uh, we're just, we're just eating a dead horse or whatever they say, you know? Yeah, guys, it's an expression. You're not quite as well read as me, but that's okay. All right, we're gonna first, the first stage, rocket thrust. Second stage should be decouple. Third stage, initiate the next rocket thrust. And then decouple and then parachute. Oh my God, we've got it. And you know what? I'm gonna add some even more wings. I gotta stop talking about wings, dude. Oh. There, that's for our second phase. Oh, that looks cool. I kind of want to do it, by the way, like permadeath. Like some sort of permadeath challenge where it's like, I just live with whatever mistakes I make. Thinking about now, thinking about where uh, permadeath will last four seconds. Yeah, I just I just mean don't re like revert the save. That's what I mean. Please, goo. All right, guys. You know what? Just for old time's sake, we'll do a little goo experimentation. I know how much you guys love the goo. I gotta put it in like some sort of good spot where it's not gonna throw off the balance of this rocket ship though. Wait, if I just do one on each side then we're fine. Okay, cool. I think we've earned the right to call this the Killinator 2.5. We've made a couple changes. We've improved on almost every aspect. It's looking great. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. Oh, hell yes. I'm gonna use the island airfield. Wait, no. Yeah, let's try this. Ready for launch. Oh, where the hell? This... what? Guys, no. I thought this was gonna look so much cooler over here. This sucks. This looks like someone's, like, backyard. Whatever. There's not even any runway or anything. Like, I'm just in the dirt. It doesn't matter. <laughs> no, guys, we didn't get defunded. It's just there's... You know, I can, I can launch a rocket from any location. I just choose to do it here today. <laughs> ah. All right, let's get this experiment underway. Should I observe the goo now? No, I'll wait. Matagon, thank you for the four months. And Filthy Virtue for the 13. Thank you, guys. All right, guys. Here we go. Throttle is at full max. I think we've got the decoupling situation figured out. The hope is that I will boost, decouple, boost, decouple. You know what? Let's get out there and do this. Go! All systems nominal. How's it looking, Valentina? Good to hear. Right, as soon as we run out of fuel... Oh, decouple! Boost! Oh, yes! 
We're going to the sun! Out of fuel? Oh, oh! Experiment! Experiment! First experiment, the goo. Observing goo. Second experiment, temperature of all the way up here. Wait, could I transmit it from up here? Oh, I didn't bring the dang thing, dude. This is good. Oh my god, and look, we're on the edge of like the atmosphere. Wow, it's so peaceful up here. How do I tell like how far I am until space? Wait. Oh, I'm still climbing. Guys? I think I might have been gone done to gone to space. How do I, like, not go, like... Okay, we're going back down. Thank goodness, dude. I was not ready to go to space yet. I had no plan. Oh, that was going to be, like, awful. We're fine. Use the other goo? Oh, yeah, let's get another goo experiment going. Mystery goo observation? Yes, yes. The goo seems to be getting very cold now. Interesting, guys. It seems like space, this paired with the information I have about the about the uh, thermometer, leads me to believe that space is cold. Let me see. Log the temperature. Over at the temperature scan. It's 336 Kelvin, but I don't, I have no clue what a Kelvin is. I don't know how much that is. Wow, this is huge. This is good for us. Val's face? Oh yeah, dude, look at her. She's so happy. She must love space. I'm gonna get you home, Valentina. Don't you worry. Oh, things are starting to heat up. Oh, brother. Well, I should probably decouple. Oh, jeez Louise. All right, parachute. Activating. Where's my parachute? My parachute broke off. Oh, no. Guys, I didn't get to see. Was Valentina smiling when she died? I just want to know that much. She was screaming? Oh, hey, there was the other piece of my ship. You see that back there? She died screaming. Guys, I want you to everybody think of your favorite Valentina memory as we move forward. That was really sad that that happened. I did not realize I was going too fast. Flight results. Catastrophic fail. Come on, it wasn't that bad. We got some really good intel about the goo. Um. Yeah, the mystery goo splashed down hard of and was destroyed. See, if we were to have got that back in one piece, that would have been some really valuable information. Oh, brother. <laughs> Sorry for everyone who believed in me and voted and, and bet with your hard-earned money that I was going to win. I really thought I had it. All right.
Where in the hell am I? I'm in the galaxy. No, this isn't what I want to do at all. How do we get back home? <laughs> Give me that. Right. Bill Kerman it is, guys. Bill Kerman is now our main squeeze. We're running out of dudes, though. Gonna have to buy some more before long. Hopefully Bill has no idea that we uh, just killed Valentina. Maybe they didn't know each other. All right, um, let's see. We gotta, we gotta get some more experimentation done. Let me leave and just see how many points we have. He's not Valentina, I don't like him. Guys, Valentina's dead. You're gonna have to give, you have to drop it. Like, just forget about her. I'm sorry. I killed her. I gotta do more experiments with this thermometer. I just gotta figure out... I, like, burned up and died. I think I flew too high up in the air. So, you know what? This, like, double decoupling bull... This bull corn? Not worth it, I don't think. It's just too... We go too far up into space, and I don't know how to, like, not die yet. I need to buy some cool science stuff. Yeah, we also need to get this antenna back on there. <laughs> Boom! Look at that beautiful antenna! Wow. Yeah, that's gonna transmit some data. I reckon. Alright. Yeah, power, too. Uh, maybe my booster worked a little too much. I just, I don't think I'm ready to go that high up in the air. I think I gotta, like, revert back to, like, a previous point. We gotta revert this Killinator back to, like, the version 2.0 or something. What is that flag? It's a Pizza Monster Necronomicon. Here's, here's, uh, wait, what, why is, why is this spaceship called Cage Light Sucks LOL? Guys, I can assure you that I don't think Cage Light sucks. Cage Light made the chat widget. Um, alright, let's go back to... This is just too many information here. We're just gonna mess with this ship. All right, um, let's see, decoupler. I'm just gonna take the head of this. Here, get rid of this, like, crap right here. How do I, like, break these things apart? Get, get off of this. No! Okay, whatever. Hopefully, freaking Bill wasn't in that. All right, we're just gonna use this right here. Like that. And now the antenna? <laughs> Alright, looking good. Now for our science, we're gonna get, guys, the tried and true thermometer, and we're gonna get the goo as well. I know you guys love, love this goo. Looking beautiful. Alright, this one's gonna be called... Uh, the Killinator... Uh, version 2.5... Point... Like... Negative one because we're reverting a little bit. All right, good. And by the way, not going to the island airfield. I'm going to the runway. I hate the island. I remember that cage light sucks thing from the last time you played. <laughs> yeah, sorry, cage light. I didn't mean it, I don't think. Oh, the Billinator. That's a good idea. Yeah, since since we do have Bill inside here, 
This is gonna be the Billinator. Alright, let's get this... Oh, wait, guys, Bill's not even in here. I lied. Where is it, little guy? Here you go, Bill. Alright. Yeah, this thing's getting up there, I think. Let's make sure our staging is good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Wait! What if I were to put like a parachute on this part so it didn't blow up? No, I think we'll be fine. I don't care if this thing blows up. I love to see it blow up. No, blowing up is cool. I love to see it blow up. I had to change a heart immediately. <sighs> Alright, guys, let's um get up there and do this thingy. I think that's what scientists say. Oh yeah, signal strength is good. Yep, we've got a data RX transfer and the direct connection to Space Center, guys. That's so perfect. Um, looks like our stage light is blinking. Let's go ahead and get a readout from Bill. Mm-hmm. The SRF levels are currently covering between 0 0.02 and 0 0.01. Not nominal, but I think we've seen worse conditions. This is going to be a fair launch, I think. Let's go ahead and get up there and freaking go to space. All right, we're curving hard. I think it's because of that goo canister. I'm gonna try to course correct manually here. Open the goo! Goo observation while flying at curbing. The goo jiggles and wobbles. Okay, good, perfect. Let's get this thermometer going. All right, decoupling and T minus uh, now. Perfect. And there goes our $30 million bottom half. That's going to make a nice big explosion when it hits the ground. I'm super excited to see and hear that. And we'll go ahead and uh, let's see if we can't pop this. Or Wait. I'm going to go ahead and open that parachute. Yeah, Bill, currently guys, Bill's mood is very happy, it appears. He's smiling like crazy. Let me get, I'm not gonna look through the eyes of Bill. What's he seeing here? Oh yeah, what a magical view. Whoa, look, the Bahamas. Gulf of Mexico. I'm gonna try to like can I like open this antenna? And deployment would destroy part. Okay, well it would have been funny. Why didn't you let me do it? What blew up? Oh, it was my piece that I didn't get to see. I didn't even get to see it, dude. Man, I was excited for that guys, but whatever, there'll be plenty more. Goo check, yeah, let's get a little update on the goo. We're getting zero science for this, which means we're gonna learn nothing from our efforts, but it's okay. Alright, we have now come down to a very comfortable 500 meters. Bill looks to be in a good mood. He's just slapping his tummy. Good job, Bill. Alright, let me try to extend this. Yeah, so can I try to transmit this data? Com Communitron 16 warning. Experiment modules will become inoperable if their data is removed. Hmm. Chat, I need help with this in particular. So, for the transmitting data, do I just have to wait till I land? And then, I don't really understand how data transmitting works. And I could, I, I will tell you right now, I could go through and read and find it. Uh, this is the Kerbal Space Program information, and each one of these expands uh, pretty far. <laughs> so uh, I don't really want to read through all that. 
don't transmit it. So you think I should just do it when I land and then recover? Okay, never transmit if you can recover. Okay, cool. There are two ways to get science back from experiment, transmitting and recovering. Tra ah, Bill! Oh, he's fine. Bill? What the hell blew up, Bill? What was that? All right, guys, false alarm. My heart's beating like crazy, but it is... We're, everything's completely fine. Let's place a flag. Oh, jeez, that scared me. Um, site name, the Thermo Goo Test V, like, I don't know. I'm gonna do like this little squiggly line and then V3. Looking good. Was it the parachute? I don't know. I don't know what exploded there. Anyway, let's recover this and see how much science we got. Yeah, the goo seems to be fine, guys. 13 science obtained for that. So now we have enough science that we can research our next thingy. Let's see. We've got... Little update. I didn't get any science from that. Why did it say... Oh, wait. What? Oh, I didn't recover the ship. I see. Now... Okay, we didn't get any science. I got point four. Oh, hell yeah, baby. We're rich. Wait, I... Pizza Planet. I didn't recover this one either. That's probably some valuable data on there. Zero. I'm starting to think Valentina died for nothing, guys. This space program sucks. We we are like learning nothing. <laughs> You're right. I shouldn't talk like that. We gotta get some better experiments going, though. So far, I'm just like, like, I, I'm doing goo and I'm doing goo in the thermometer. More goo, you think? <laughs> you can take ground samples. I might try to do that. Yeah, let's okay. Guys, I think we're going to try to take a ground sample from the next place we land, and that's going to be how we get the science. We need to learn what kind of dirt they've got over there. And I intend to find out. Okay, the Billinator version 2.5.1.1. negative Let's do this thing. Samples of your own planet? Yeah, you know, I, uh, I'm not ready to go to the moon yet. I don't know how. I know I did it in the past when I played Kerbal Space Program, but it's been way too long. All right, current objective. Get over there-ish. Wait, let me see if I can even, like, take a ground sample. Ugh. Oh. <clears throat> Let's see how this would work. Take surface sample. Okay, perfect. All right, Bill, now you've got the monumental task of climbing back into that rocket that you just jumped out of, so you're gonna have to... <laughs> yep, yep. Oh, please, no! Run, Bill! <laughs> oh. oh, it's fine. We're fine, guys. Forgot the ladder? I didn't forget the ladder, guys. I don't have a ladder. Come on, come on. Safe, safe, safe. Stay with me. We're gonna have to revert it. I don't think I'm gonna be able to- Oh, wait. Run! Alright. 
Now guys, here is the question. Do we attempt to do the horizontal flight? It ended badly for us last time. <laughs> but this time it is pointed directly at the facility. Well, that happened last time as well. Guys, I think I'm gonna be able to pull through this. Listen, I'm on a try at my hardest not to revert. All right, let's get Bill back up in here. Come on, Bill. Come on, Bill. Come on, Bill. All right, here we go. I think you guys are being pretty negative, okay? I think this is going to go fine. Um, let me make sure my... Yep, everything's good. You lost a fin? I don't need a fin where I'm going. Launch. I think the fin could have probably helped a little. Um... Sorry, Bill. I thought I'd try it, you know, just see how it went. And now we know, you know, and see that we might not have gotten any science at the top there from that. But I learned a couple things. Yeah, and we also see there's an invisible meter here, guys. We've got our science meter. There's an invisible one called the comedy meter. And I think we probably got a couple points on there. All right, we, okay. Objective is still to get a ground sample, but instead we are using Bob Kerman. Bob, your turn to die. I mean, you're gonna be fine. I'm gonna try to fly to the other side of the planet. You know what? Yeah, let's do that. Check it. Um. Let's do this. Let's try to like angle it like this way. There's a way to do this like by plotting your course and everything, but I think it's a lot cooler to do it this way. Well, wait, wait, no, we're not, um, we're not going towards, oh my God. Guys, we're not gonna be able to get a ground sample from, from the ocean. What am I doing? I should have gone. Look, at there's so much land over there I could have gone towards. Maybe. Oh my god. Decouple! <laughs> no, this sucks. Dang it. Maybe I can get a thermometer sample. Thermometer sample. Your weight, Dodd. Goo sample. Give me some goo samples. Okay, see? Okay, if I can recover, I'll get 5.6 science? <laughs> maybe a water sample? Yeah, maybe I'll try a water sample, guys. Easy does it. Easy does it. Yehao. Thanks for subscribing, partner. Are we even falling anymore? Oh my god, it goes so slow. These parachutes work too good, dude. We need a parachute that sucks a little more. We need like a Walmart parachute. We're buying these Target parachutes. Cut it, but, but then I'll fall so fast. Guys, you just, you're so quick to jump on the cut train. Wait a second. I just realized, I don't know if this thing's got like floaties on it.
Oh, thank the Lord. Alright, we're gonna try to take a water sample, see what we can learn about the ocean. Oh, one sec here. Uh... Here, let's climb out of this. Okay. Take surface sample. Surface sample from Kerbin's water. We've taken a sample of the water. It appears to dramatically increase the surface humidity of anything it touches. Oh! Guys, that's interesting. We'll keep that experiment. Um. Sci yeah, science is amazing, guys. <laughs> Okay, so now, just so I'm not doing something wrong, guys. Do I just click recover? Redo the goo one? Wait, you guys want to do a goo sample in the water? Wait, that could be cool. Maybe we'll get some wet goo. The water goo. Removing the experiment will data will render this module inoperable. I don't know what that means. Guys, I think that might break it. No, I think wait. Reset it. Reset the goo. Collect the data. Observe. Oh! Mystery goo observation from Carbon's water. The goo escapes into the water. The goo has breached containment. It's contaminated the water supply. Keep experiment. Alright, see how much science we get. Where's my science? Oh, I didn't recover it. It's still out there. Oh my god. Oh my god, I've got so much science! We're rich. We are rich. Yeah, we might have released a goo plague on the land, but... Hey, I say that's worth it. We learned a little thing or two. Let's see, who was all that? Who was all that? Thank you, Content Sauce for the first time, Prime, and Anonymous for the gifted sub. Thank you. And Meat Ghost for the two months. Thank you, Nightcrawlers, for the 500 bits. And Wiggly McCream for the four months. They said, I heart Bob. Did Bob die, or was that Bill? I hope Bob doesn't die. No, we've, we've got Bob. Thank you, Flying Fly Banana, for the five months. And Brother Bar for the first time sub. Thank you, Ranger Ken, for the three months. Fudgiano. And Entropith, thank you for the first time, Prime. And Fungo, thank you for the 20 months. And Brother, thank you for the five gifted subs, dude. Thank you very much. I appreciate it a lot. Call you bear. Okay. I will remember. I'll try. Um, okay, let's see here, guys. I think we I think it's time we buy a new uh, little thingy. We could buy some stability parts. Let's see. New nose cone, a rail decoupler. Hmm, cool, don't care. I need some more sciencey things. I want to do more experiments. Barometer, device for measuring the local atmospheric pressure. Hey, that could be good. Hornsey, thank you for the first time, Prime. And Brother Bear, thank you for the gifted sub, dude. Barometer, barometer. Guys, I don't know how. 
Already forgot? No, I called him brother, brother bear. Unless it was just bear. I just made the wrong assumption. I didn't forget, dude. No. <laughs> Whatever. He said just bear. My bad. I didn't forget. I swear. I, you could play it back. All right. Rockets. Let's see. I just need more ways to do science, I think. We want more goo? Guys, I think it might be time to... What if we take a goo sample of the moon? Would you guys want to do that? Moon goo could be huge. It does suck, though, because of the count of the fact that I don't remember how to get to the moon quite exactly. Last time I played this, I got to the moon, but I kind of just didn't, like, remember how. Just go up? <laughs> Maybe I'll make it my first goal to get into orbit around the uh, planet. Yeah. Oh wait, I'm not gonna be able to recover. No, 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 no. Wait, guys, Bill's got Bob, Barry. What's his name? I could do so much science in orbit, but Barry, Bill, Bob is gonna die. You can if you get back. Guys, I don't think I'm going to be able to get into orbit around the planet and then get back. That doesn't that's not seeming possible. Eduardo, thank you for the 31 months, dude. And Coltet for the 5 months. I appreciate it. Sacrifice we're willing to make. <sighs> this pains me to say, but I think yeah, we might have to just sacrifice Bob. Just leave him there orbiting until we figure out how to get him back down. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. I could get this parachute. It might be better. Max temp is something, something. Uh... Oh, a heat shield? Wait. Alright, guys, we're gonna get Bob into orbit. For the scientific research that exposing goo to space would be. We would get so much useful scientific research from putting goo in space. Let's see, which one of these I'm gonna buy? Maybe a better thruster? Yeah, I think we'll get this. What do we mean by goo? Basically, the way you get science points in Kerbal Space Program is by doing little experiments. And right now, chat seems to love the idea of using this goo canister to do science. So uh, we've just been like kind of experimenting with what's possible, putting goo up in space and like putting it in water, you know, like looking at it. <laughs> it's like pretty much normal stuff like that. All right, we'll get these rocket pieces and we are going to make the Killinator V3. Look at this crap. Ugh. Look at this nasty crap. What a terrible ship. We're going to do a new one. Oh, brother, I don't remember which one I just bought. This one's more expensive, so I'm, like, thinking it might be this one. Reliant is new? The Reliant is cheaper, though. Yeah, you're right, it is new. Look at all the values. The thrust is higher. The vac is higher. Whatever that means. All right.
Guys, this is the foundation for what will become the Killinator V3. You know what? I'm even going to name it right now. The Killinator V3. Oh, you already know. Uh, what this ship, ship does. I couldn't think of anything cool to say, so that's just what I'm going to keep it as. Um, all right, let's see. Thumper solid, solid fuel booster. Oh, this is cool. This one's big. We might use this one, actually. Like, oh, look, here's what I'll do. Okay, get this out of here. We're going to use the big one to get us up to the space. And then we're going to decouple into a tiny one, and we're going to get even farther up into space. Is this where the thruster comes from, though? Oh, yeah, that's where the fire is going to come from, guys. I know all about science and stuff. The flag is gross. Where do you see the flag? Oh, right there. What is this creating a creepy workplace environment? Come on, grow up. All right. So we're going to add a decoupler right here. Boom. And now we're going to add... Oh my god, that scared me. Nacho, thank you for the thousand bits, dude. The board of directors is requesting a ship capable of breaching the atmosphere. Original created, of course. Failure to do so will result in us cutting your funding. Have a nice day. You have an hour? Oh, Nacho. Oh, you must not know who you're dealing with. This is the Killinator V3. This is getting to space easy. In fact, we're just about ready. Let's see. This is the biggest rocket you've seen yet. Oh yeah, and it's only gonna get bigger from here. Um, well, we're gonna do a little bit of something here where I put a thruster on the decoupler, like so. Boink. And then we put the fuel tank. We'll go the bigger one. And another decoupler. Oh my god, that scared the hell out of me. That little noise. Parachute. And then we need wings. And the goo, of course. The problem I'm running into is I don't know where to put the wings on this bad boy. <laughs> These really don't seem big enough. Guys, this sucks. This does not look big enough. They're adorable. I don't want it to be adorable. I want it to be freaky. Look at this. Look at my flag. You think I'm going to go out there looking adorable? I got to look scary. You know what? I'll just put a couple more so that it evens it out. <laughs> okay, well, that didn't even add it. Why is this like, this won't go to the opposite side. Stop doing that freaky noise. Something weird. Can I add three goo? You know what? Yeah. We'll do three goo this time, guys. I think we can learn a couple valuable things about adding more goo. There we go. 
Um, let's get the goo in place. Add goo, goo. And this sucks to do, but I'm gonna have to cover up the flag a little bit in favor of placing a couple more uh, goo canisters. I'm sorry, guys. I hope you can understand. It's for it's for the uh, cause. All right, now let's add the thermometer right up here. Mm -hmm. Point. And just like that, the kilometer V3, I think, is ready to go. Wait, let's go through the decoupling. Or that order. Boom. Thruster. And we're going to decouple this one. Then we're going to initiate... Wait, decouple, rocket thruster, decouple, parachute. Oh my god, easy. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, the little stupid fins look stupid. But not all science has to be pretty or cool. Sometimes it can just be the bare minimum to get things done. Oh wait, I need to add that little like pointy thing on there too, so we can transmit data back down to Earth once I get in orbit. There we go. Oh wait, we don't have our dude in there. Bob Kerman, it is your time. You are about to be the proud orbiter of a planet. I'm making a missile. No, we're good. All right. Um. Blah, 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 blah. I think we're ready. Heat protection. I'm not coming back down. I don't need heat protection. All right, chat. Let's do one more check. Boom. Decouple. Boom. Decouple. Parachute. We're good. Bob Kerman, today is your day. Go. Oh my god, look how much solid fuel we have. Look at the bottom left. We've got fuel for days. Oh, we are picking up a little bit of heat. No, that's just the sound barrier being broken. If you're not Bob, you're, everything's in complete control. Look, he looks a little kind of upset, but... He's a professional. This is nothing... This is nothing he can't handle. Alright, get ready to decouple. Decoupling. Angle. We gotta angle towards a orbit around the planet. And engage second thruster. What is happening? What is happening? I, I put the thruster backwards. Decouple! This is savable, guys. Bob, Bob, stop rotating. I don't know how to rotate him in the right. Stop, stop the rotation. I think this makes him stop rotating. Good. Oh my god, that was immediate. Whoa, yeah, okay. No, guys, look, he looks perfectly happy. All right, guys, a uh, little update. Our scheduled course is to just go right up here and then crash back down into the water. So that sucks. Oh, but we're on the edge of the atmosphere. Let's try to do a, a, goo, a goo scientific sort of thing while we're up here. We'll transmit this down back to the Earth. The goose seems to be getting cold. Okay, keep that experiment. But I gotta, I gotta close this. 70k is space. Oh, brother. Yeah, we're barely out of the atmosphere. <sighs> Dang it. Alright, well, the good news is I do think Bob is gonna survive this.
Um. What did I just do? My parachute's not opening, guys. Guys. My parachute's not opening. Bob looks so happy, nobody tell him. It's automatic? Okay, I think- okay, no, you're right. I think we might be fine still. Bob is in good hands. I'm gonna try to enter at a perfect upright position so that we do not screw anything up here and... Oh, the moon! Look, I almost got there! Nacho, thank you for a thousand three hundred bits, dude. No, a thousand six hundred. Thank you, dude. Yeah, this is gonna work fine. Look, you can see my other rocket piece up there. Some debris from the Killinator V3. Okay, there's a parachute. And we have a successful parachute, guys. I... Oh my god, beautiful. Whew. I managed to get up into space, kind of, almost, with a rocket backwards and still live. I'm just that good. I think the rocket might have even saved me. Let's gently land back down. Squidward's piss drawer. Thank you for that eight months, dude. You know what? I'll take a soil sample while we're out here, too. Oh. There was a little piece of my rocket crashing down. You love to hear it. That's a sound of progress. Big Pickler, thank you for the 22 months. Do not panic. Everything is fine, guys. I think we just might have landed in a minefield. All right, we're going to hop out of this thing, and I'm going to take a little bit of uh, a little readout of the soil here. Let's see what we can learn about dirt. <clears throat> wow, not used to the gravity of Jupiter. Uh, first of all, plant the flag, of course. Yeah, guys, we're about to learn a lot of cool stuff about this. Ew. Um, the reverse thruster incident. Um, let's take a surface sample. Surface sample from Kerbin's grassland. Yep, looks like dirt. That's that's useful. That's good. Let's go ahead and get another goo sample. This time from over here, guys. Hmm. Yep. It's goo. Uh, still goo. Alright, let's take this one. Yeah, it's goo. That's good to know. Mr. White, thank you for the first time, Prime. And Bear, thank you for the 100 bits, dude. All right, let's recover this bad boy. Oh yeah, look at that, guys. We got halfway around the planet almost. Real far. Did I take my flag? Wait, no, surely not. Did I, did I pick up the flag? No, I don't know. <laughs> All right, I'm going to make some slight adjustments to our rocket. I'm going to start by flipping our thruster in the right direction. There we go. How did I mess that up? Look at this. No, you can't lie to me. That does look sort of how like it's supposed to go. All right, good. Let's add some fuel tank. One of these. Um, wait, I didn't know. Oh my god. Uh, sorry, I'm panicking. 
Okay, I did add decoupler. All right, fuel tank. One of these. We're gonna add one more decoupler. And then we're gonna add the star of the show. This is confusing. Yeah, I know that the shipbuilding stuff is... I'm just so bad at it. Um, decouple. Now the little dude. Now this. Now we gotta, of course, get our goo. You guys still want to go with three goo canisters? I think that might be a little overboard. We might just be able to get by with one. Three hundred goo canisters. That is that is verging on like a ridiculous number of goo. I don't think we need that many. Let's get our wings added. Um. Perfect. All right. This is huge for us, I think. First thruster. Right now I'm setting up the decoupling uh, stages. So this means this rocket will go first. Then we will break apart. Then comes the second thruster. Then this, and then parachute. Boom. And I can't forget the most important thing. This little stupid antenna so that we can phone home like E.T. And you know what? Screw it, guys. I'll throw a thermometer on there as well. The Killinator V4. Yeah. All right. Let's get this show on the road. Wait, we don't have a guy in there. Bob, get in there. Definitely gonna blow up. Oh, you doubt, you doubt my ability? I just landed the most impossible situation. Right. One second, I'm gonna sip my water. Guys, let's orbit the planet. Um, I think we're ready. Bob, everything good on your end? Yep, he's looking good, guys. He's looking real happy. All right, let's do this. Things are looking good. We've burned through half of our solid fuel. We are still at a normal tilt. We're about to have to decouple. Get ready. T minus three, two, one, uh, zero, uh, negative one. Decouple. And engaging second thrusters now. Come on! Come on! Oh my god, we're getting too hot! Youch! Youch! Okay. Should I decouple? I don't know. I don't want to like screw up my like speed. I'm I'm going like really good. Bob, how you hanging in there? Oh my god, I think I did it! Oh my god, it's space! 
Bob, we did it. Look out the window, look. How do we get back now? Well, now I think we're just going to orbit around the planet um, until a later point in which we can help him. Help him back. Let's do a goo sample, guys. Oh my god, and we can we can take it back to the... Look, watch. Extend the antenna. Observe the goo. Let's see how goo goes in space. The goo seems to have clumped into his sphere. It also appears to have become brittle. Whoa! This is cool. I'm gonna... I'm gonna transmit this back to Earth because I'm not gonna be able to come back to Earth for a little bit. Transmit it. Well, yeah, what's our orbit situation? Oh! Guys, we didn't quite... We did not quite get into orbit. We are more like on a giant, like, uh, arc headed straight towards the ocean. Hey, but T minus three minutes until we get to our, uh, apex. Wait, I'm gonna decouple. One sec, zooming in as fast as I can, but it's taking forever. Wait, oh, I'm, I'm in the map mode. <sighs> I'm gonna make Bob think that he's not gonna die. Bob, you're looking good. Go ahead and decouple. He's not looking good. Guys, I think he might be dying. Look at him, he's, he's clapping his belly though, he's so happy, he has no clue he's about to freaking go on a crash course straight through the atmosphere and burn up. Go ahead and retract this antenna. Don't want that breaking off. <laughs> Nacho, thank you for the thousand bits, dude. My objective is to land on the moon. Yeah, we'll get we'll get to the moon. I think we're almost there. <laughs> Where is the moon? Yeah, that looks pretty close. And thank you, uh, Nightcrawlers, for the ten gifted subs, dude. Thank you a lot. Temperature reading? Oh yeah, we didn't even get a temperature reading up here. This is good stuff. Measuring the temperature of space appears to be quite impossible, as there is no matter around to be either hot or cold, except the spacecraft and the thermometer itself. This is probably going to give the R&D guys something to think about for a while. Wait, what? You can't, you can't take the temperature of space? You can only take the temperature of objects in space? Guys, write that down. We gotta get this transmitted back to the base. And he's like, Bob's like, why don't we just do it when we land? Oh, Bob, I just really want to send it back. <laughs> Go ahead and transmit that. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and retract that and Wait, transmit data? Yeah, transmit it all. And lower this antenna. Alright, I can't quite click it. Alright, I think we got a lot of good valuable intel there, guys. Um, let's look at the map and see our crash course. Wow, we are about to be at the highest point that any human or little green guy has ever been. T minus 45 seconds. No power to transmit. Guys, did I get the hell all the way up here and I don't even have the ability to transmit this intel I just got? 
Oh, brother. Hey, Bob, this is Mission Control. We just got all that intel that you transmitted. Perfectly fine. We're learning a lot of great stuff, Bob. You're a hero. Guys, Bob's dead. There is no universe that exists where we can get through the atmosphere and back onto the planet without Bob burning alive. He doesn't know it though, look how happy he is. He's so happy. Bob? You just passed the apex? And you're coming back down, Bob? Prepare for re-entry. Wow. Don't look directly in the sun, Bob. <laughs> oh, it's kind of spacious in here. Guys, I'm going to begin the uh, killing of Bob. Go ahead and speed up time a little bit here. For some reason, I can't like rotate myself. I think it's because I don't have any like thrusters or something. I would love to spin him around the opposite way, but. No battery? Where do I see that? Wait, where is that? Matcha Fantasy, thank you for the first time, Brian. <laughs> Upper right, second icon down. Oh yeah, zero electric charge. Yep, we've got- wait, oh, oh, oh! I don't think that's working. Guys, Bob might survive through this, and look how happy he is. You think I should tell him? I don't think I'm gonna tell him. I don't want him to know. Alright, yeah, I pushed the shoot button. We will see how it goes. I think, I'm thinking that I'm gonna burn up the second I start hitting this atmosphere, but who knows, guys, anything is possible. Hey, I could be perfectly fine, though, you know? These are the type of experiments that we're learning every single day. Yeah, I really do wish I could flip myself, but that's just not seeming to be possible. No power. See, the reason is because I'm coming down. I'm gonna do a little, uh, a little thrust example here for you. Wait, why is this like this? That's wind resistance. See that? Sorry for the the flashbang. And if we were coming down on the atmosphere this way, we would be going a little bit slower. It's science terms, guys. I know I know this is like kind of confusing, but it's science. This is by the way, this is the way we're headed. Ew, don't be weird. Lots of weirdos. Guys, no. It's science. It's nothing weird at all. Wow, look at that beautiful view, though. Of the horizon. See how many T-minuses we've got until we're dead. A lot of course for right, right here. 
A minute in a second. Wait, I might be able to just speed it up by doing... Oh, no, I want to see this, like, death process. Alright, here comes the atmosphere, guys. Bob, things are looking great! You're the president's here. And he's waiting to shake your hand. You're looking good, Bob. You're looking real good. Don't worry, Bob. That was just... That's all part of it. That was the goo canister exploding. That's to be expected. Just hang on, Bob. Hang on. Everything's looking good. Yeah. He's looking a little confused. Wait. Wait a second. Oh my god! <laughs> just like I said, Bob. You're gonna be okay. Guys, great. Now I've gotta get the president down here. I told him the president was waiting for him. Ugh. Wow. I cannot believe he survived that. All our goo canisters snapped off. That sucks, but... At least Bob's fine. No, I'm not cutting the shoot. I will never cut the shoot. It's not gonna happen. And we're just gonna have a gentle landing down here. We're at a comfortable 400 meters up in the air. We can't afford a presidential visit. Cut the shoot. You're right. <laughs> no, I'm not cutting the shoot. Bob, dude, Bob has been through so much. I'm not cutting the shoot. Yeah, I just happened to position myself correctly. Like, I have no control over which way I'm, like, spinning. Wow, that was magic. That was pure magic. Hey, but that's all science is. It's just calculated magic. What is that flag? Oh god, how many people are gonna ask about the pizza monster flag? Guys, it's a pizza necronomicon. Wait, 60% of chat was wrong? Wow, that was 40% voting for me, guys. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for believing. And I also want to I also want to say what a stupid decision that was. That should not have, like, worked. That should not have worked. I don't know how we're still alive. Whoa, but I'm glad we are. Bob gets to live to see another day. Touchdown. Easy. Honestly, easy. <laughs> Bubble Fina, thank you for the two months, dude. And Lunchbox for the 300 bits. Thank you. Appreciate it, guys. Alright, mission summary for the Killinator V4. Alright. Eight science earned. Let's go ahead and grab that ship back. Wait, did we already grab it? Where is it? Where, where is that? Dude, the goo probably did save him. You're right. Chat, I think the goo might have saved him. I already got it? Okay, cool. So why does sometimes when I push recover, it's still out there? Weird. Dude, yeah, the goo absolutely saved Bob. This is like a huge day for uh, all the goo enjoyers. I think the goo blowing up like that, it really... uh. It really looked pretty cool and sounded cool and it made it way more dramatic and I think that the goo was like the heat shield, yeah. I think that took most of the force of the uh, atmospheric pressure and wind resistance and flames and all that. Oh, you're recovering when you're outside the pod. It just recovers the carbol. I gotcha. Thank you. 
Man, yeah, the goo believers. What a miracle. Yeah, I think, you know what, we might be able to avoid adding a heat shield at all by just adding more goo to the outside of the, outside of the ship. All right. We didn't quite get into orbit, but we did survive. That's like magical. That is just so awesome. I'm super happy about that. Let's see if we can research any more things. No, we need more. Um, aerodynamic nose cone. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Rail decoupler. Yeah, yeah. Boring, boring. Um. Heat shield. Okay, see, this is what we might... And this is what we might need. I really should invest in a heat shield. It is just a miracle we didn't... We didn't, like, burn up. Let's go ahead and research it. And I gotta figure out how to add one of these things. Um... Oh, that scared me. Nacho, thank you for the thousand bits. Reach a full planetary orbit or land on the moon. Don't use Bob because his wife is very worried. Don't use Bob. I don't know who else I've got. I think, let me see if we've got any. Like, how do I recruit these dudes? These guys all want to be astronauts, but they little do they know they're probably going to get burnt up. It's just a miracle that Bob didn't. Lost and missing. <laughs> don't look, don't look at that. <laughs> yeah, they're just lost, guys. They're just lost. Thank you, Sunfrog Native, for the first time Prime also, dude. Alright, so my problems with that one were... My initial thruster... Let me take this off for a second. Why can't I... My initial thruster didn't get me far enough on the way there. So I'm going to attempt to add more fuel to this hush pup. Right here. Like this. Music always give me Terraria vibes. Yeah, that's what it sounded like. That's what Plum said earlier. That it sounded like Terraria. Do you guys say Terraria or Terraria? How is it supposed to be said? Rar? Rar or rare, huh? Yeah, I think RAR is the way to go. Terraria just sounds stupid. Evil Snowman, thank you for the 100 bits, dude. I appreciate you. And Vostroyan for the first time prime. And Venny, thank you for the five gifted subs. Thank you a lot. I appreciate it. Boosters, then we've got the decoupling phase. I'm gonna try one more time to get in orbit, guys. And this is gonna be the one that works, I think. Oh, the heat shield, oh, what am I doing? I don't know what the difference is in these, and I also don't even know where a heat shield goes. Maybe like here? Like that? You think that looks normal? <laughs> yeah, maybe rotate it. Yeah, that looks good. Oh my god, that looks perfect. Yeah. Nightcrawlers. Dude, thank you for five tier two gifted subs. Thank you a lot. I appreciate it, dude. And Love Lane, thank you for the tier three, dude. Thank you very much. Alrighty. 
booster. Decouple. Booster. Decouple. That's looking good. We've got our heat shield. We've got... We also landed some... We got some landing struts, but I'm not going to the moon just yet. That's going to be impossible. Spadgezilla, thank you. Thanks for the 300 bits. What's up, dude? <laughs> kind of worried that I don't have enough to get me... Like, can I, I wonder if I can add a thruster straight to this little... Like, what about this? What if I could do this? Like, add a third stage like this with just the, uh... Oh my god, would this work, I wonder? Oh my god! <laughs> Let me do the math here. We've got some math to work out. This is terrifying. Yeah, and you know what? I'm also kind of realizing how in the hell am I gonna... How am I gonna, like, put wings on this thing? <laughs> nah, I think we don't need wings. I think we'll be fine. Spadge, thank you for the 300 bits, dude. Oh yeah, I guess I don't need wings up there. That's a good point. Alright. Mmm, thruster number one. Bada boom. Then we decouple. Bada boom. Then we do thruster number two. Then we decouple. You know the drill. Thruster, number three, then decouple. Oh my god, yeah, perfect. Spare Bob? Guys, no, Bob is Bob is the bravest one of all of us. Guys, Bob is going to be perfectly fine. In fact, he's excited to go on this mission. He told me earlier. He was talking about how cool it was going to be. Maybe I'll bring a barometer, barometer. Sure, let's bring one of those. Bob still needs to meet the president. Oh yeah, guys, but uh, I forgot to tell you, uh, the president is actually hosting a meeting in uh, low orbit around the Earth. So that's where Bob's headed. He's actually going to the meeting. All right, the Killinator V5. Looking good. In fact, looking fantastic. Maybe I should add like some more uh, fuel containers. Well, no, this thing's gonna get too long if I start doing that. All right, let's do this. Guys, now is the time that we get into orbit. Oh, we have to put Bob in there. Whew, let's do this. Dang. Look at the size of that rocket. Man, this thing almost touches his low space orbit without even leaving the ground. Look at that, Jupiter. Wait, what is that? I think that's a moon. Wait, no, the moon's way bigger than that. What is that? There's a moon. What is that thing? Maybe just, I don't know, maybe Pluto. <laughs> Who can say? All right, guys, let's get up there and be somebody. Sharded, thank you for the 100 bits, dude. Much appreciated. Chat, I am like perpetually sad that uh, 
I can't find more games like Wrestling Empire. I just keep thinking about it. I know I mentioned it at the start of stream. It's just such a good... But the same... No, that wasn't... No, dude. That, I was like in the middle of thinking about how I was going to word it. Thanks for subscribing, partner. Guys, no, I'm not perpetually sad. I just meant about Wrestling Empire. It's such a good game. I want to find more games like that. Just so hard. Add goo. Oh, we've got goo, baby. Look at that. We've got enough goo to freaking work as a temporary heat shield. All right. Is Jebediah dead? No, Jebediah is just exploring the uh, cosmos. He's just exploring uh, the outer edges of space right now. He'll be back later. All right, let's go. I'm just nervous. I'm just nervous is all. Hold her steady. Hold her steady. Whoa, and look at all the smoke. Oh, that's beautiful. Honestly, look at that. That's like a movie. Or a, like a... Yeah, sort of like a movie. Alright, things are going to start getting a little hot, guys, as we start breaking the outer edges of this atmosphere. Okay. Um, let me look at my current orbit position. Okay, right here, we're going to add a maneuver, and we're going to... Something like this. I'm thinking something like this, maybe. Um, yeah, looking good. Uh, good, good. No, not, no, that's gonna lead us into the freaking. No, that's okay. Wait, 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 actually. Oh my god. Something like this. No, I'm screwing it up. I'm screwing it up. I've gotta act now. Ah, I'm ruining it, I'm ruining it. I've got to do something. Get rid of this maneuver. Can you stop time? I don't remember. Maybe? Oh, I'm not paying attention! My rockets go in stupid mode! I don't think we're going into orbit, guys. I maneuver. I just can't remember how to do this. Something like this. There's a way to, like, go into orbit, basically. Yeah, you'll know it when you see it. There it is! That's orbit. Look at that. Okay. So now we have to, like, burn. We have to do something about burning. I know that's a term they use a lot. Um, yep. Yeah. Uh, decouple. Burn. Why, well, just, what did I do? Oh, brother. Wow, stupid. What am I doing? <laughs> uh. No, stop spinning, you dumb thing. Stop, stop. Get this thing to stop spinning. There we go. Okay, guys, I screwed the orbit up. <laughs> I think what it is, is I need to break the atmosphere, get completely clear. Then we, then from there. Oh, no, don't EVA. I was trying to do a goose sample. It was getting cold, that's good news. Oh my god, I didn't even... I just screwed that up so badly. It's okay though, because I've got my, uh... I've got the ability 
now I have a heat shield, which is going to protect us. Watch. If I can just rotate it in the correct direction. Something like this. There we go. Alright, we're fine, guys. A lot of good data to be had there. Um, let's actually take a temp temperature as well. Good. Watch that ship piece falling down. You see that in the distance? Any second now. Boom. Big splash. Big, beautiful splash. Alright. Well, a failed... Oh, there's another piece. You can EVA while parachuting to get a great high-altitude sample. Thank you, Spadge, for the bits, and Twin Turbo for the two months, dude. Alright, guys, another failed orbit attempt. What a terrible, stupid space station we run. What a dumb space, space center. We're slowly getting there, though. We're learning more every day. Touchdown. Alright. Dang it. Oh, dang it. Guys, don't even clap for that one. I don't even feel good about that. We got next to no data, I don't think. I mean, maybe we got a little bit. Let's send it back. I wonder if I can make like an airplane. 12.9 science earned from that? Wait, so now here's what I'm confusing about. How do we earn 12.9 science, but I have 18 now? Well, I must have spent some earlier and forgot about it. Alright. You guys think I can make an airplane? I could probably make some dumb rocket. Alright, Killinator V5, we're retiring you for now. I'm gonna make an airplane and it's gonna be super cool. <sighs> Spatch, thank you for the bits, dude. Sorry for backseating about the goop. I assumed you would goof it and jump off, killing Bob. I wanted the payout. Yeah, guys, um, about backseating. I know, like, I've talked about it in the past. I just, I hate backseating. I would way rather a million times over make mistakes and have funny stuff happen. Because that's how stuff happens that's funny, is when I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's like, uh... I don't know. That's what I like the most. I want to make a weird ship. What if I made something... Wait, what if I made, like, 10 decouplers? Could I do that? Wait, I'm gonna try something stupid. I wonder if I can make a little airplane. Wait, I'm getting like too many ideas too quickly. Here, we'll do this thruster. And we will do... I'm gonna front seat game. Please move over so I can control- Hey, let go! <laughs> Service bay, what the hell is this? Okay, I don't know what that is, and I don't care. Don't know, and do not care. I want this fuel tank. And we're gonna put some wheels on this thing. <laughs> Dude, if this, if this works, this is gonna be the coolest thing ever. This could potentially, like, this is what the Wright brothers were up to, you know?
Need to make a boat? I don't know. Oh my god, chat. I thought of the stupidest stream idea. I want to, uh... Okay, I lied, by the way. I know I said I'm gonna stop lying. I'm sorry. I lied. This is not the stupidest stream idea. This is just a stream idea. Um, I thought it would be funny to stream Rust and try to make it a goal to get the, uh, all the co-op achievements with strangers. And I just go in and try to, like, make friends with people and just get my ass killed over and over and over. I've just been in such a Rust mood lately, though. Rust resident sleeper? That will not work. Dude, I don't know. I've got a way with words. I, I've been playing the past few days and I just, I've been making friends like crazy. Okay. <laughs> um, to be quite fair with you guys, the, uh, the people who said this was a stupid idea, I think you might be right. This does not look like, this looks like a Jimmy Neutron, like, from the Jimmy Neutron movie. I think this could work. Maybe we, you know what, we might need more, uh, we might need more thruster fuels. Here, I'm gonna add a few more thruster fuels. Bear with me, guys. Uh, just changing, making a little couple changes to the Killinator V6. Interesting, it doesn't want to place. Okay, boom. Boom. The more fuel canisters we have, the more farther it will be able to go. I know this might be going over a couple of your heads. It's science stuff. Don't worry yourself about it. It's just science stuff, guys. Badge, thank you for the bits, dude. You should have let us vote after you built the ship. I want my points back. Guys, I don't know what bets are going on at what time. It's not me doing it, it's mods. <laughs> hey, you're just gonna have to deal with the consequences of your actions. Voting on me. That's what I'm saying. Any believers? You guys are just... You guys are next level weirdos. Hey, okay, good. Looking good. Looking beautiful. It looks like a little caterpillar. Thank you, Gregorio, for the three months. And Twitchy Killer for the first time prime and sharded for the bits. Are you building rockets or missiles? This is good this is a this is an airplane. Are you What do you mean? You can't tell? And, uh, what else do airplanes have? Yeah. Flight attendants? Well, we've got, uh, here, we've got Bob. Dude, watch this actually work, and people have just... Oh my god, this actually might work. Let me see if there's anything else. Any experiments you want to do while we're up there? Maybe a barometer? Yeah, looking good. What did I put that? What did I do with that? Where I like put it inside of it. Oh no, here it is. Good. <laughs> Alright. You know, they do have... Oh yeah, goo check. You're right. Guys, we're going to add a strip of goo canisters down the entire length of this thing. It's mostly to prevent any sort of uh, crashing. The goo canisters have proven to be quite useful in the past. They help us uh, enter the atmosphere more peacefully and gracefully. Yeah, that's looking really good. This will also add some aerodynamics to the uh, thing. Get the wind going down in a good direction. All right. 
The Killinator V6. Wait, I think the V is supposed to be little. Yeah, that looks better. It's an airplane. Alright, let me see the... Uh... Yeah, looking good. Air coffin? You're insane. This is... One sec. See how this thing looks on the on the runway. Guys, this is totally possible. Stop saluting, he's gonna be fine. Let me get a good little look at uh Alright, left, right, up, down. All right, so I just have to push space and down, and this thing should be good. Bob, you're making history here. We're about to learn a lot about aerodynamics. I'm gonna miss Bob. What did he do to make you hate him this much? Oh, I'm about to prove you wrong, dude. Ready, set, steady, set, go. Up, 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 lift. Wait, I'm doing the wrong way? No, I'm not, lift. He's dead. It wouldn't generate any freaking upward thrust, dude. I should put a little rocket on the underside of it. No, this is like Gary's mod. This is like Gary's mod, like, machinery. Well, let's see what went wrong here, guys. Uh, lift off at T minus zero seconds. Um, at eight... And eight seconds, basic fin crash into runway. That I think that's where the thing started going wrong. Um, and then at eight seconds, we also had the micro landing strut collision. collision um, and Bob Kerman was killed in that instant. Um, this was all at eight seconds. <clears throat> I think that might have been when the the thing blew up. At nine seconds, the landing strut collided into the surface. an eight second eight or nine second run dude that's that lasted this this lasted longer than airy spencer did in that graveyard match you know but we do it all for science guys it's all in the name of science and we're learning a lot here today like look most g-force endured was 4.8 gigabytes hmm. that's good all right I'm, this is, I'm counting this as a death, by the way. I'm doing permadeath. I just want to keep trying this thing, this thing that I've built here. Really quick, just to see, like, if I can get it to go off the ground. You're steady. I think if we get to, like, a cliff, then we'll be able to, uh... Oh, keep her steady! And then get ready for lift. Okay, okay, okay. Now we just need to hit a hill. Or a little ramp or something. Or a cliff. Okay, no. No dice, guys. I think we're gonna have to go back to the drawing board on this one. Oh, that might go up to the moon, actually. See that piece? Here's what we're gonna do. I have one idea. Why are you making us relive his death? Just close your eyes. I have an idea here. We're going to do a tiny, tiny... This is going to be... You might question me. But I just want you to hear me out. We're going to make a tiny little thruster on the underside. No, that is stupid. Just stupid enough to work. Trying to figure out the exact angle here. Okay, guys, we don't need a parachute. I'm going to be scrapping the parachute so we can make room for this thing on the on the front here.
No, that doesn't quite... meet the specifications I need. Where? I wanted to like sit like this, dude. No need to- no need for a parachute when survival expectancy is zero. Hey, it's never zero. We've seen what's possible. Just really trying to get this to fit on here. Maybe like this. Maybe on the roof. This is confusing to me. Badge, thank you for the bits, dude. Um, okay, a little bit of a problem. Oh, wait! Well, now we need to match it. One sec. No, it's pointless to vote on these. This is like... This is, like, obviously not gonna work. This is, like, stupid. Okay, wait! Hold the phone, dude! Yeah, this is going- this is going somewhere. How do I make them happen at the same exact second, though? There we go. Oh my god, guys, this is it. Oh, he's dead. I forgot we killed him. Guys, Bob's dead, unfortunately. Well, let's get someone else. How about Peter? Oh wait, Bob's alive! I, I, I mean, listen, I'm gonna canonically, for, for canon purposes, I'm gonna kill him, guys, but he is alive at the current time. Alright, thruster all the way up. We are going to... I say we just send it, guys. Once we get up to speed a little bit, I'm going to engage the second thrusters. Alright, good, good, we're staying steady, which is exactly what we need. Oh my god, I, I think the thrusters have added a bit of stability to this thing. Yeah, this thing's going quick. Alright, I'm having to do a bunch of micro adjustments, but it's been totally capable, I'm capable so far. Alright, get ready, second thrusters engage now! Disengage, do something, what am I doing? <laughs> we're fine, we're fine. everybody a big apology to Peter and his loved ones for blowing him up uh god I don't know what I could have done differently goodbye Peter you'll be missed yeah I think more thrusters <laughs> reckon thank you for the 19 months I'm gonna try that one again. Yeah, we might need to just add some thrusters in the back as well. Like, double thrust it up. Like, put some here, put some here. And then we'll generate the vertical lift we need since these plane wings aren't doing crap. Alright, um... I'm gonna generate a little bit of upwards. And then stop. Okay, no, now we're just doing the flips. Parachute! He's alive! Wait, maybe. Wait, guys. Oh my god, stop with the stop with the thrusters! How do I disengage thruster? Disengage thruster! Peter, are you okay? He's dead. This is going nowhere.
All right, well, I think we learned a lot of good stuff today, guys. I'm going to keep learning this game, though. I think I'm done for the night. But, however, but. I'm going to keep learning this. We're going to do it again soon, and we will get into orbit around the planet, and then we will get into land on the moon. I've done that before in the past, but like I said, in the past it didn't feel like I did anything because all I did was just build a stupid rocket and then let chat walk me through exactly how to do it. Now I'm learning. Ooh. Guys, thanks for hanging out.